Draftsman documents allow for creating and documenting the dimensions of the geometric shapes and the features of various objects along with their elements, while allowing for manufacturing tolerances and ensuring compliance with the specific geometric parameters of the product. Dimensions can be added to provide clarity and adjusted to ensure the documentation is both readable as well as understandable for the manufacture and operation of the device. The dimensioning commands are found in the Place menu, as well as in the Active Bar panel in the Open Draftsman document. As you can see, there are a number of types of dimensioning available. A linear dimension can be added to the edges, vertices, or centers of two objects. After the placement, you can change the size of both the anchor points and the dimension's value accordingly. In the Properties panel, the parameters are configured. You can adjust the style of the dimension and extension lines, the ending style of the dimension lines, the position of dimension value relative to the dimension line, and the position of the arrow relative to the extension lines. The text position menu determines the location of the text, and the arrow position menu allows you to select the position of the arrows relative to the extension line. To place the text under the dimension line, enter it in the Additional Line field and enable its display. The Extension Line Gap specifies the distance between the dimension target points and the start of the extension lines. The Extension Line Offset field specifies the distance by which the extension lines extend beyond the dimension line. The Unit section defines the primary and secondary units of measurement. The dimension's value is recalculated automatically for basic units of measurement, you can hide the visibility of the units themselves, leaving only the numerical value. If you want to specify a custom dimension value, select the override value with the checkbox and enter the dimension value you want to display. In the Tolerance section, you can select the type of tolerance to display and specify the minimum and maximum dimension deviation values. The Precision section defines the precision of the dimension, where you can specify the number of decimal places for the dimension itself and its tolerance for the main and secondary values. Radial and diametric dimensions can be added to circular objects, such as the circle or an arc. In the Properties panel, the graphical display settings can be modified as well. The angular dimension is set between the edges of the objects or the crosshair line of the center mark. In addition to the stylistic display settings for the angular dimension, you can hide the visibility of the units of measurement, for example, the degrees icon, and set a custom dimension value. The ordinate dimensioning consists of a set of linear dimensions relative to a single reference point. These dimensions can be applied to feature faces, vertices, or centers. A series of ordinate dimensions is a single object, and it can be edited. To add a new dimension, click on the desired location when the orange dot is added to the mouse cursor. To delete it in the same mode, click on the dimension setting point. To place a scale, use the XY axis scale command and specify the start and the end points. In the panel, the line grid field defines the distance between lines with numeric values. The line gap defines the distance between numeric values and the scale. The value of additional line number setting is the number of additional lines between lines with numeric values. The rotate text checkbox, of course, is used if you want to rotate the text by 90 degrees. When placing dimensions on the printed circuit board, their values will correspond to the actual dimensions of the board objects, regardless of the scale used. This, however, does not apply to dimensions applied to graphics elements that are not associated with the board.